yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Darren coming at you with another DOJ Fleet Friday video. Today, we're going to be going over the 2018 and 2006 Ram and Ford Excursion. So this is going to be the Ram 2500 here on the left. These are going to be both by the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. This is the Bla this is the Ram 2500 and the Ford Excursion 2006 model. And then again, this is the 2018 Ram. Both of these vehicles look absolutely beautiful. What we're going to do is we're going to both we're going to pull both of these vehicles out of their parking spots. Look at all the components that these vehicles have to offer, all the cool little quirks and features, and go over some of the information about each one. Again, both of these vehicles look absolutely amazing. The creators of these vehicles did an absolutely great job on these cars. Let's go ahead. We're going to jump into the Ram first and take a look at this and go over everything that it has. So going on first with the ram let's go ahead and bring out our handy dandy key fob here vehicle menu trunk hood and we're going to open up all the doors and let's go ahead and take a look starting from the front we can see that satina push bar with the four blue and white lights as well as the red and blue behind the grill and also red and blues in the turning lights here flashing back and forth we have an extremely extremely detailed hemi 6.4 liter i'm going to assume that's going to be a v8 engine inside this ram very very nicely detailed again beautiful beautiful looking car we're gonna go ahead this one says it's a hemi 5.7 liter and this one says hemi 6 Point four, So, one of the tags is wrong, but nonetheless, let's move on. Coming into the driver's side, we have coffee and a safety guidelines book over there. We can see that as well. We have a uh, the nice little Whalen light bar up here with the ALPR sticking out from the roof, kind of peeking over saying, Hey, what's going on, guys? We got the, uh, the coffee, obviously, there, the portable printer. And that center console, we have the Panasonic Toughbook there with a uh, with the thin blue line logo. Let's go ahead and jump inside. We got our wallet up there. Don't look at my information. Got some sunglasses and some Doritos. That's the first time I've seen Doritos there. And then, obviously, we have the car freshener here as well. We have the watch guard uh, dash cam system right there. MDT 209. That's what we have leased out. Let's go ahead and come around to the back. We're going to jump on top of here and take a look at everything. We can see the red and blues right there from the light bar and then the red and blue flashing right there in those brakes. If we had if we had this uh, Delta Champion um, lockbox here closed, we would be able to see that as well as those red and blues fa flashing right there in the back window. We can see we got some flares, a toolbox, some stop sticks, cones, the typical stuff that you would see in the back of a car. We have a uh, we have a lift there. That's you would put that under the car and crank it down to lift the car up. A spare tire and some more cones. Let's go ahead and get low down low here. We can see the red and blue lights next to the license plate, and then the red and blue in the brake lights right there in the reverse lights. Coming around to the side for the side profile, we have the all blue up there in the light bar, and then the red and blue flashing in the running bay. This is going to be on this side, this is going to be our prisoner bay. So um, on opposite side of what we're used to, and then over on this side, we have um, some of the other stuff. We have some ammo, some guns, things like that. We also have the ion uh, light right here flashing for some nice intersection lighting as well. Let's go ahead and close everything up. Trunk hood and close all the doors. Uh, trying to get all the doors closed. There we go. 
coming around to the front let's look at that lighting pattern now absolutely beautiful we have the red and blues on the mirrors as well as the red and blue right there on the dash some more red and blues up there in the visor and then obviously the light bar you wouldn't have all those lights if you were if you were running this vehicle like that but nonetheless it does still look absolutely incredible a very very intimidating look if that were to pull up behind you let's go ahead and jump in the car and take a look at everything we're going to start off with the extras go ahead and turn everything off and let's take a look so the base vehicle with nothing inside of it this is what you get you obviously still have those lights back there um very nice lighting pattern in the back coming around to the front a lot less lights, but still a very nice amount of lights. We have the red and blue in the grill, the mirror, and the turning bays right there. Going on to extra number one, that's going to be our light bar up here. Red and blue all the way around. No amber. Actually, I think this entire car does not have a single amber light in it. So that's a little fun fact for you right there. Going on to extra number two, that's going to be our visor lights and our dashboard lights for number three. Extra number four is gonna be our Ram bar, Satina Ram bar right there. I think that's all blue. Oh no, 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 the, this side is red, that's blue, and then the entire front is blue and white. Extra number five is gonna be a nice little cage back here. I like to keep this off. If you ever see me patrolling, I like to keep this off because um, it adds for uh, better lighting back there. Extra number six is going to be that spare tire, the cones, and the uh, lift. Extra number seven is going to be our toolbox with no cover. Extra number eight is going to be our lifted cover, which we had on for the initial showing. Extra number nine is going to be our closed cover. And then extra number ten is going to be our ALPR system. And then extra number eleven is going to be our spotlights up here let's go ahead and turn those spotlights on so you can see what they look like again very very beautiful just a beautiful looking car extra number 12 is going to be our spotlights but folded in whichever one you would like to do whichever one you're feeling that day going on to our livery let's turn the lights off livery number zero is going to be our sheriff regular sheriff livery and valor we trust they did a good job with this one. We can see that thin blue line logo in the back with the Sheriff's Department logo as well. Going on to extra number one, that's going to be our LSCS skin, Los Santos County Sheriff. Going on to extra number, or sorry, livery number two, that's going to be our unmarked livery. And then that's going to be it for the liveries for the Ram. So that's going to be, that's going to complete the Ram actually fairly simple vehicle um we're gonna go ahead and take the excursion have the mechanic take the ram away into its parking bay let's go ahead and take out the excursion right off the bat so sorry actually i almost forgot for the ram that's going to be unlocked at the rank of corporal within the blaine county sheriff's department going on to the ram let's go ahead and just do a quick spin around the car we have those brake lights wigwagging as well as the red and blues flashing back and forth in the license plate and in that back window coming around to the side we have some nice intersection lighting um, not amazing but some nice intersection lighting with that red and blue flashing back and forth in that back window and obviously the blue flashing from the light bar coming around to the front i think that's a go rhino that's a go rhino wraparound push bar it looks super super mean and then we obviously have the red and blue flashing up there. Again, no ambers on this car that I'm seeing. That amber, okay, no, that's that's just the parking light. Um, we have the red and blue flashing in the grill as well as the red and blue flashing on the light bar. The red and blue flashing on the um, mirrors and then uh, as well in the visor area and on the dashboard and the red and blues flashing on the light bar. A beautiful, beautiful looking car. They did a very good job on all of this. Let's go ahead and open all this up. Front right, rear left, and rear right. And let's go ahead and take a look. 
Um, let's actually open up the trunk as well and the hood. Oh. Oh, 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 this has... Does this have that? Does this have that trunk hood? It does. All right, so this is a cool little feature with the hood. Hold on. Give me one second, guys. Okay, with the hood... Um, Um, we can see that when we open up the hood, it actually opens up this nice little, um, components bay back here with all of our, uh, nice little knickknacks. We have the, the flares the do not cross a basic first aid kit and everything like that. That is extremely, extremely nice. I like the way that they did that, the way they just removed the ability for that to open by giving us an extra little thing back there coming in we have the seat organizer here with the vest some more police tape a uh, the handcuffs and our passengers spotlight we have the panasonic tough book as well and that watch guard um dashboard system coming around uh does that say go rhino it does say go rhino coming around to the driver's side um we have the all white interior ford as well, we ha you can see the coffee kind of peeking up over that and some nice old Copenhagen right there. We have uh, some kind of bag, you know, could be going to the gym, could be going shooting. I don't know. I don't know. But we also have the shotgun and the M4 right there in its bay. We also have that same kind of bag and it looks like a vest up there with the stop sticks in the back. Let's go ahead and jump in the car, close everything up, and let's, uh, okay, what am I missing? Okay. All right, and that's all done. Uh, front left, there we go. So, now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and turn off all the extras and see what this car has to offer going on to extra number one this is going to be our light bar up here um let me start off with this the base vehicle is actually just this so just the lights in that um on the mirror and then in the back these lights back here and that and the lights on the side um and then this is the base car extra number one is going to be that light bar we're going to keep it off though extra number two is going to be those visor lights right there and extra number two is going to be the dashboard lights extra number four is going to be the grill lights down there by the ford logo and then extra number five is going to be our spotlights our all yellow spotlights um we're going to go ahead and remove that because i believe extra number six is going to be the folded version of those spotlights and indeed it is so extra number six is the folded version of said spotlights. Extra number seven is gonna be that push bar, that wrap around Go Rhino push bar. Extra number 10 is gonna add some antennas onto the top. And extra number 11 is gonna be some additional antennas on the top up there. And that's gonna be, that's gonna complete it for this vehicle when it comes to the extras. Now this vehicle is unlocked at the rank of Sergeant. So this is a Sergeant level vehicle livery number zero is going to be the blaine county sheriff's department livery just a regular livery extra no, or livery number two is going to be the lscs livery and at livery number two is going to be the unmarked livery and then that's going to repeat back into livery number zero and that's going to be it for this vehicle again this is the 2006 Ford Excursion for the Blaine County Sheriff's Department, an absolutely beautiful vehicle. And that's going to complete this episode of DOJ Fleet Friday. I tried not to rush this episode, but I am running late for where I have to go. So if it seemed rushed, I do apologize. I do want to thank you guys for your continued support. And I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday. I won't be uploading any videos Saturday or Sunday. Much love to all of you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Uh,